Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle, just in case you're new around here. Welcome. Come hang out. Don't forget to subscribe. Today we're going to talk about why it's so awesome to be fat in fall. Now this is a series of videos I've been doing on my channel for a couple of years. I'm just gonna give you a little heads up. This is mega sarcastic. These honestly were kind of hard to come up with this time because fall is pretty awesome in my opinion. But there are a few things that kind of suck about being fat in fall and so we're gonna talk about them. You know, it'll be fun. This video is for like those fat people who just, you know, you can't really get what you need sometimes. I'm quite fat, like I'm on the very fat side of things, if there can be a spectrum of fatness. And um, it's a struggle sometimes. So let's just share our woes. This was a request by one of you guys, so I figured it was time. Let's do what's so great about being fat in fall. Number one on my list is tall boots and thick calves. Um, now, there are a lot of companies who now do like wide width and big calf boots, but I have lymphedema, which means my legs look like tree trunks, and so even those wide calf boots are not fitting, so I'm definitely not getting tall boots anywhere, but for those of you who have, you know, just a little too thick in the calf for even like Pennington's or Torrid, um, it sucks. Also they're expensive and they're not that comfortable because they're cheaply made. Another thing on my list is plus size companies and brands or stores or whatever, they're always so far behind on the trends. Like whatever's in stores now for skinny people or thin people, I guess. I don't know, skinny sounds sort of like derogatory, but for thin people, it'll be a while before we see it and it sucks. Like, I want the same things that they've got now. I would love it if companies who have, like, straight size brands just made clothes for fat people, like, cut for fat people in fat people sizes. Like, a 3X is not the last size, and that's really frustrating, especially when they're like, we make clothes for all bodies. No, you don't, because you only go up to a 3X. There are more fat people in the world, let's just face it. So we've covered one, two, and three on my list already. I will mention layering. Layering, layering, layering. Fall is the time of layering. You can wear a scarf and a cardigan. You don't need a jacket yet. And then you wear your boots and a cute hat and all those things. But I'm fat. And like in general, fall is like half summer, half actually cool temperatures. And I'm hot all the time even in winter, so yeah, that's fun. Layering sucks as a fat person because you want to layer for the style of things and for the cute outfit, but you can't spend more than five minutes in it because like then you're peeling shit off again because you're hot. That's ridiculous. Uh, there's no way to really fix this. Fall is also a time where people go back to school. It could be for you know, grade school, high school, college, university, um, grad school, a master's program, whatever type of school you're going back to. You could have been out of school for 10 or 15 or 20 years and are going back to school. It is a huge time for anxiety. It is made even more of a big deal when you are fat and you just want to look good on your first day of school. You just want to buy a wardrobe of clothes that make you feel good. But you can't find that. And then you're like, oh, now you're constantly pulling at your clothes and you're just trying to like concentrate in school. Maybe if you're in grade school or high school, kids are maybe teasing you because the clothes you have are not as trendy as what they have because you're fat and you can't find those clothes. I know I struggled with that immensely in high school, especially my first day or like first month of grade nine, I was bullied because I showed up every day in like an old navy, like shiny polyester tracksuit, like the whole thing. I loved that thing. It was so comfy, but it was from the men's department because this was before old navy sold clothes for fat people. And I like couldn't buy clothes from old navy 
any other way than buying the men's clothes and so people would make fun of me all the time for wearing that beautiful burgundy tracksuit um it was very shiny guys it was very shiny and i am very happy i don't have photos of it um because it was a time in my life where i didn't allow people to really take photos of me back to school clothes and just doing something so big in your life and trying to fit a wardrobe around it brings a lot of anxiety and i can totally understand why people would want to feel confident on their first day somewhere or even their first month they just want to have nice clothes maybe they've been out of work for a long time or like out of school for a long time because they've been taking care of kids and now like they're bigger their body is not what it used to be and they just want to feel comfortable but like you're already not going to fit in because you're way older than everybody else when you're going back to school and then because you're fat you then have to deal with like tiny desks that don't fit your body in them desks where the chair is attached because that is the cruelest invention i've ever come across um spaces that are not meant to be accessible or for fat people um i'm talking about like lecture halls you know where the hall it goes up and you just like huge spaces and you literally have to go to another floor to get to the first floor um to like where you can actually move around and so you don't have to walk back up the stairs again if stairs are a problem for you um which they can be for anybody but it's so hard and then those spaces to sit down like say you come in the back and you're at the top of the lecture hall the spaces are so narrow and people still have to get around you so you have to move all the way to the inside and then you have to then shuffle all the way back out and it's like it's almost cruel how tight those spaces are because your butt is literally going to touch someone else's face when you walk by no matter what you do and there's like no space to sit cafeteria tables in high school were a huge problem for me my cafeteria in high school had these awful fold-up tables that like folded like this and they had stools attached that were the stool was this big my butt cheek wasn't even that small when i was 17 and in that school and then the stool was attached, then you had to sit on it. I would stand most lunch hours and be like, oh, why don't you sit down? I'm like, my body doesn't fit there. Like, it just doesn't. And like sitting on a picnic table, same thing. My body does not fit in that tiny space that you're allowing. And it's, you know, it doesn't mean that like, I should be punished for those things. Like, I still need to sit down at lunch, you know? There should be detached chairs. School, going back to school can be a really hard time for people when they're fat. There's just so many anxieties that come along with it. So much unknown, especially when it's new and you're going somewhere new. Now, here is one that is definitely all about diet culture. So with cooler temperatures, you just want to have like warm, comforting food. You probably eat a lot more potatoes, um, like more high carb meals. Well, People seem to think that like you don't want to have that or you shouldn't have that comfort food or those like comforting meals when you're fat you should still only eat a salad like how is that fair if you get to have your warm comfort food you being possibly thin or just a rude asshole who's now said why aren't you eating a salad um because it's like 10 degrees out and I'm cold 10 degrees Celsius okay that is chilly here um and like, I would like to be warmed up by my food, thank you. And a salad is not going to be satisfying in this temperature. So I'm gonna eat my bread and my soup and you know, my hot coffee with full fat milk or whatever. This one is definitely something that thin people may not experience a whole lot. And that's the idea that the store doesn't sell your size. They make the size, they offer the size, but it's an online exclusive size. I ran in this, into this recently when I went to Torrid. God forbid I need something in an emergency. But like, say you're having, you know, it's been a long summer and you've moved, we're moving into September and the temperatures have not really cooled off. They're still hot, and it, you know, but then suddenly like October rolls around. It's like, bam, it's cold or it's raining. You know, it's raining a lot and you now need a raincoat. Okay, well, an umbrella would be fine. That is a temporary alternative. Say you need a raincoat that is fleece lined, right? You go to the, the local fat store and um, they tell you, guess what? You're so fat, you can't buy your size in our store. We don't like you enough. You don't make us enough money. 
which is the response I got from this store, when I emailed them and said, why don't you sell my size in the store? That's not exactly what they said, but for business reasons, they did not sell my size in the store. Now you have to wait two weeks for your clothes to show up, that you paid $40 for shipping to then get to your house to get a raincoat, only for it to now be snowing. You have to really plan ahead as a fat person. My sister bought a raincoat, like a fall raincoat, two weeks ago, because now she'll have it to wear for the fall. It was August. Like, how ridiculous is that? I shouldn't have to buy a winter coat in September just so that I can get it in time for December when it's snowing. It should be available in the store in my size. If you make the size, you should sell it, sell it in the store. You know, just my educated fat person opinion. This is just, um, this one's just like a general pet peeve of mine. Everything is all about the oversized sweater and t-shirt these days, and I found hacks to get around it, you know, I figured some stuff out. However, I just want a freaking oversized sweater that is cozy and wooly and warm, but obviously, like, it's gotta be made from a, like, for a fat person, right? The problem is, is, like, in most stores, I wear the biggest size, so if I want something oversized it literally doesn't exist for me could you imagine going into a store as a let's say a size six okay you go into the store and you're like i like this sweater it's very lovely it's a little boxy that's great i'm gonna buy it three sizes too big so i can wear it oversized and be super stylish and cool but you're like not even remotely worried that they don't sell your size you're just like oh this six fits you know, normally, and you just go, grab the three sizes up, you don't even have to try it on, because you know it'll be very oversized. You buy it, you take it home, you wear it. You know what happens when I want something that's oversized? I go, I look on the rack, I don't even have to look on the rack to be honest, I just know they don't make my size. They don't even sell my size in the store, but they definitely don't make any sizes bigger than mine. And that is just... I just want an oversized sweater. Like, why is that so hard to ask? I want an oversized sweater. I want necklaces that don't choke me because they're made for only people with like 12 inch size necks. I want scarves that are longer because I have a bigger neck and a bigger head. I, you know, it, there's just like a lot of things that people don't think need to be fat person sized. Um, tote bags, for example. I love me a good tote bag. Um, it carries all my crap. I can put the handle on my arm, or in theory, I can put the handle on my arm. But every tote bag I've ever picked up has these short ass arms that do not fit, or like the short ass straps that don't fit over my arm. Like they get to the crook on my arm and like they're not going any further. They're certainly not fitting over my coat in the winter or the fall. So, you know, that's fun. That's okay. I just started making my own. That's what I, like, all the bags at Rebellious Clove, let me just say it now, they all have long ass straps, okay? They're tote bags that have long straps that fit on my shoulders and have extra room to, like, you know, fit a whole other arm in there. They're huge, they're nice and big and oversized, they have sturdy handles that grip to your shoulder, but they're long and they will fit your arm when you're fat. You can buy them if you're thin, but they fit your arm when you're fat. And you can never, like they will always do that. I also make fanny packs that fit around fat people. Um, I make shopper style, style totes that fit on your arm when you're fat. The basket bags I make are fat f arm friendly. Like it's all fat friendly, you know? And I don't understand why companies can't think that through. You know, why? Even with an extender chain on your necklace, do you just, like, not fit my fat neck, you know? And yes, I know I have a fat neck, but it doesn't mean I don't want to buy this jewelry or a scarf. Thank you guys so much for listening to me ramble and rant. Um, all of this is said in mostly good fun, but to be honest, I would really like my dog to not be jingling around right now and hiding under my legs. But also, I would really like it if... Fat people's stores, the fat stores, actually stood up and took notice of the things they're doing wrong and fixed it. Make it better. You have so much money you're leaving on the line. You straight size stores can really, you'd be making buckets of money just by adjusting 
excuse you just by adjusting what you're doing, offering more sizes, cutting your clothes for actual fat people, my dog has now decided she would like to join us for this portion of the show. Mm-hmm. Thank you. No, we're not going to lick my makeup off my face. Thank you. Um, anyway, let's just, you know, I just want fat stores to do better. I want straight size stores to start offering more sizes. Okay, thank you. And I just want to be able to walk into a store that I know sells my size and buy it off the friggin' rack, you know? Either that or let me ship it to the store for free. Because if you're not going to sell my size, but you make it, you should allow me to get it for free somehow. Like, get it shipped to me, not get it for free. Um, yeah, I don't really have a whole lot else to say on the subject. I'm kind of talked out. Abby is stealing the show, I'm sure. If you guys are interested in supporting the content that I make, getting exclusive videos and exclusive content and exclusive access to me, I would hope that you consider signing up to be a patron on my Patreon. Uh, like I said, we have exclusive content. I've recently revamped all of the tiers to offer some interesting perks, uh, one of them being a podcast. Uh, and yeah, I'd love it if you would come over and join us. So, um, I don't have anything else to add. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, stick around. If you can't sign up to my Patreon or you're just not interested, interested, that's totally fine. But if you are interested, the link is in the description box or on the end screen. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye!